Hi, I'm Ben Sheriff and this is my Kit Plus review of the AJA Key Pro Go. So here is the unit. Okay, so let's get into it. It is a four channel SDI and HDMI H.264 recorder. Records to USB sticks. Supplied for the review of these little SanDisk units, you need to be making sure that you get the correct media that uh, AJA specify will work with the device. It's a bit of a departure for AJA because traditionally their kit has proprietary uh, media that you need to get. You also need to buy the media from AJA themselves. Um, this is so that they can support, fully support the product range. Uh, but this is a slight departure in the sense that you can buy off the shelf media. Um, for me, this unit is really aimed squarely at the broadcast sector, but also in the event space, houses of worship, and pretty much any other pro AV scenario that you can think of. Anyone that is doing multi-channel and they want a reliable way of recording manageable file sizes that are also editable. For me, it's also quite a handy piece of equipment for a DIT. It would be very at home on a DIT cart. A really handy tool to save you quite a lot of transcoding. With the latest firmware update, it will actually allow you to record in 10-bit um, 422. So these files are clean, they look good, and they are workable. So why did AJA go for the H.264 codec rather than something else? I put that to them and they basically said, well, we went with H.264 because it's something that you can hand over, you can play back on virtually any device. That, that is basically, that's its strength right there. As you'd expect from AJA, this is a really well built unit. It feels fantastic in the hands. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's lighter than you would expect, but it really does feel as though it is built to last. It's built to travel. It's built to be put in a, in a, in a rack, in a flight case. And, you know, you can buy this with confidence that it is not gonna fall apart. On the back of the unit, we've got two uh, independent five pin XLR power supplies. Obviously we've got redundancy there. We've got an SDI monitor out and an HDMI monitor out. We've got two analog audio inputs and we've got SDI and HDMI. Well, we've got SDI in and out, but we've got HDMI and we've only got HDMI in. So we can't loop out of the HDMI to HDMI, but why would you want to do that? Personally, probably just going to be using SDI on this, uh, on this device. It's great. We've also got reference loop input audio outputs and there is also a fifth USB port on the rear of the device for recording redundant files. It will record four channels independently. So we slot in the one, two, three, four USB sticks into the front and it will record, ISO record 2H264, those four independent streams. Now that's really, really handy. Okay, so as you can see here, so I have uh, a single feed, which is me, hello, plugged into the unit. It's split up into these quadrants here. So if we have four inputs, we have one, two, three, four, and uh, we have lovely audio meters here on the front, um, so everything is quite clear there. Anyone can use this thing, it's really quite straightforward. You could definitely get somebody who was not familiar with broadcast decks and the like to be able to use this quite quickly. The display on the front is really, really nice. It's very, very crisp and we can see focus and uh, exposure and all the other things that we want to kind of be able to have a, a handle on and understand. The, the audio meters, they're just really nice. The playback controls are, are, are on the front, nice and easy, big buttons, really positive when you're um, scrolling through the menu. On the front, so we've got our configuration here, so we can go into config, and this is where we will configure our inputs, and we can basically say, uh, yep, we're coming in on SDI 1, 2, maybe HDMI 3 and 4, uh, if we've got different camera sources. It might be another reason, another really useful way to use this device. If you, for example, had cameras which only have HDMI, or let's say you've got cameras that are little DSLR cameras, and they only record for 30 minutes before the, the, they, they cut out, they don't, don't want to record anymore. Um, you could take HDMI into this and use this as your recorder. So you could record a gig with four DSLR cameras and this little unit um, and, uh, and, and you would you'd be getting around an issue there. So that's another possible use for it. 
I d the menus are a little bit awkward. Um, if you, I didn't point out when I was looking at the back, but there is a, uh, a network port on here, and there is a, a web a, a web interface you access via uh, just a, a browser and an IP address, and that gives you a little bit more flexibility and ease of use. Would I invest in it? Yes, I probably would, but alongside their unit, which will also record 4K um, and, and give me ProRes or DNX media as required. So that for me is uh, why I see this unit as part of a pair rather than a standalone item. However, there are going to be many, many users out there who would value this piece of equipment in their arsenal.